What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. It's been over a month since I've been with you guys last. Uh, it's been crazy. Life uh, kind of went sideways. Everything's good. Everybody's good. But we just got hit with a ton of stuff all at once. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I've got a very cool video for you guys today. We are going to take the 38 Special, the EAR Windicator. We're going to use some plus P ammunition for that. And we're going to do a ballistic test against the New England Firearms 32 Magnum. And that's the 32 H&R Magnum. We've got some ammunition for that, which even though it's a, a round that's still produced, it's actually very hard to find ammunition for that. So we're going to compare those two rounds in a fresh block of ballistic gel and see what we get. Let's head over there and get started. All right, we're five yards back. We're going to start with the Windicator 38 Special. This is a 129 grain jacketed hollow point Federal Hydroshock. It is plus P, but it's the only 38 Special ammunition I could get right now. So we'll uh, take a shot with that and see how it uh, how it performs. Let's go take a look. Okay, we had a good hit right here. And that actually went clean through that block of ballistic gel. It went through 16 inches. All right, now we have the New England Firearms R73 32H&R Magnum. This is going to be an 85 grain personal defense jacketed hollow point from Federal. This is the first time I've shot this, so let's hope it doesn't blow up. Not bad. Let's go take a look. So we had another good hit right here. Pretty clean wound channel, pretty straight. And we caught the round at about 14 and a half. There it is. A little bit of mushroom to it, a little bit of expansion. Kind of a cute little round, actually. Uh, very pleasant to shoot, very fun to shoot. But uh, clearly not a good match for the Plus P38 Special. So that 38 Special went through 16 inches of gel, a bunch of snow. So I'm trying to walk, it's two feet deep out here. <clears throat> and it punched a nice little hole into the snow right here. And guess what? There it is. Didn't really expand at all going through that gel. But there it is. This is the New England Firearms R73 revolver, manufactured from 1988 to 1999. Uh, chambered in 32 H&R Magnum. It has a pin right here that you can remove. Barrel unthreads and you can replace it with a 4 inch barrel. It comes with a 4 inch and a 2 and a half inch barrel. Uh, very easy to interchange that. We went with the 2 and a half for this ballistic test because it was only half inch longer than the Snubby 38 that we had. So, uh, very nice, very clean revolver. To remove the cylinder, you pull this rod out, cylinder drops open, show you guys, it is empty. And this rod, you push it, and there's your shell extractor as well. Single or double action, double action, show you guys, you're looking at a, about an eight pound trigger pull, little bit of take up right there, not much at all. In the single action, you're looking at a, just a nice, clean two-pound trigger. Uh, if that, it's it's a very light trigger, kind of a uh, extreme grip angle and pretty narrow profile, but it's not uncomfortable by any means. Looking at it, you'd think it'd be pretty uncomfortable, but it's really not. Uh, very light recoil, very pleasant to shoot when we shot it over there for the test. First time I had actually got a chance to shoot this, and uh, hey, it didn't blow up, so that's good. But yeah, very nice gun to shoot, very comfortable, and uh, I don't know, I hadn't really heard too much about the 32 h and Magnum prior to finding this, so I wanted to make sure I got this 
uh, to demo for you guys today and uh, give you something a little different for content. All right, for those who have not seen this before, this is the European American Arms Windicator Revolver, chambered in 38 Special. Some of these were made in 357. This one is specifically 38 Special. Um, it is a German revolver by, I'm sure I'm going to butcher this, Weirach uh, Corporation, but very commonly just stamped European American Arms. Um, it's got a rubberized grip on it, double or single action. There is a button on the side here. It is empty. Make sure you guys can see that. It is empty. And if you're concerned, the barrel is well above my head right now. Um, but single or double action. On the double action, it's got about a six to eight pound trigger pull. But if you cock the hammer back, single action, it's got a two pound combat trigger. For you guys to go ahead and see this, once it's the hammer's back, there is no take up, it's just a crisp two pounds is all. Uh, firing in the double action, I'll show you here left handed, immediately there's no, no wall or anything, it immediately starts pulling back on that hammer, and again crisp six or eight pounds with this. Very nice, actually bargain little handgun. Um, I've been pretty happy with it so far, but that right there is the European American Windicator. Alright everybody, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman. I apologize for being so absent for so long. I mean, it was it was before Thanksgiving that I gave you guys a video. Um, it's It's been a winter. It's... Uh, <laughs> It's been one of those winters where just about everything that can go wrong did. Um, I'll drop a, a, a comment in the community section of the channel here so you guys can head over and look at that and I'll, I'll outline a little bit of what's going on and <laughs> what we've been through this winter. So um, I'm glad to be out here with you guys again and uh, bring you guys some content. Hopefully you found it interesting and informative. And it warmed up. It's like 40 degrees today when it was negative 10 a week ago so interesting weather for sure we got two feet of snow out here but uh, it's beautiful it's beautiful North Idaho and I'm glad to uh, to be with you guys here again today I hope you guys all have a fantastic week if you like the video be sure to click like and subscribe um, and follow Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram as always I hope you guys have a fantastic week take care Stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time here on Idaho Rifleman.